fill in the blank. The Raiders MVP so far this season should be. That's where you comment below. So if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, Raider Nation, comment below. The Raiders MVP so far this season should be blank. Now, DJ, spin that Nikki Bonds. That's that all the wind. Shout out to the Raiders, man, we got to win. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, the Internet's most interactive and, well, number one Raiders show in the world. Josh Jacobs is the Raiders MVP. This one's for Chucky Heads. Believe it, baby. This one, not for me. It's from our YouTube subscribers. So if you already haven't gone and voted, right now it's over 80% of the votes have Josh Jacobs as the Raiders MVP so far this season. The dude has been the vocal point of the Raiders offense, and he's really just established the physical toughness that we were trying to implement this year. He is currently on pace to surpass 1,500 total yards, and the offensive line deserves a ton, a ton of credit. So, Tom Cable, my man, I'm sorry. But 430 yards, 4.9 yards per carry, four touchdowns, 88 carries. A running back where they had the only question marks around him were could he establish a heavy workload or could he handle a heavy workload because he never had one of the Alabama. Guess what? The answer so far is absolutely. And if you've been watching the show, you'll know that I've been saying go bet on Josh Jacobs to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Because right now, here are the odds, according to BetDSI. Plus 400 odds on Josh Jacobs. And if you would have listened to me like, I don't know, two months ago when the odds were at plus 900 and I was like, go bet on Josh Jacobs to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Hopefully you did. If you didn't. Guess what? You still can, man. Go to BetDSI, chatsports.com slash bet, and use that promo code Raiders120 for 120% deposit bonus. BetDSI, the Internet's number one sports book, has hooked us up with, well, the number one deal out there. I challenge you to be able to find 120% deposit bonus anywhere. So that's what you're going to do, okay? Here's your homework for the weekend before Monday comes around. You're going to go to Bet DSI. You're going to put down $50. You're going to get 60 for free. You're going to bet on Josh Jacobs winning the Offensive Rookie of the Year. And if you do all that, I'm going to give you a t-shirt. Sound good? Cool. Because right now this dude is on pace for 1,376 yards and 13 touchdowns. If Josh Jacobs does that, this man is winning Offensive Rookie of the Year. Also, if he does that, he's also going to be the second. He's going to have the second most rushing yards in a single season by a Raiders running back behind only... Marcus Allen. And when you talk about running backs for the Oakland Raiders, Marcus Allen might not be the GOAT because my GOAT for Raiders running backs Bo Jackson. But, like, for a single-season rushing yard leader Marcus Allen, the fact that Josh could be just behind him, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit for Josh Jacobs. So I made you fill in the blank earlier. I'm going to make you do it again. But this time, you actually have a chance to win some money. So Jacobs wears 28. So how many rushing yards will Josh Jacobs have this season. The first person to comment the correct answer in the comments on YouTube, you're going to win $28 from me, from my Venmo. My Venmo is also at MitchellRens365. Also, so is my Snapchat. So add me there too. How many rushing yards will Josh Jacobs have? But here's the thing. You got to do it in the next week. You can't do it when the season ends. So right now, put in the comments section, how many rushing yards for Jacobs? Let's keep the show rolling here with some rumors. Are the Raiders adding another Gruden in 2020. First off, I can't even believe 2020 is next year. It's mind-blowing. This one, though, is three Chucky heads, and I think it's pretty likely. So I saw a report from Adam Schefter that basically said, well, don't be surprised if uh, Jay Gruden is a coach for the Raiders in 2020. For those of you that live under a rock and for those of you that don't subscribe to our main chat sports channel, shame on you. You should. YouTube.com slash chat sports TV. We talked about the Redskins firing Jay Gruden after an 0-5 start. And now the Raiders have vacancy, or I shouldn't say now, the Raiders have vacancy at the quarterback position, or quarterback coach position. Jeez, just stumbling, Mitch. You're stumbling through this one. So, Schefter, my question to you is, are you watching the Raiders report? Because I talked about this two weeks ago. But when I talked about it two weeks ago, it was from a report from NBC Sports that said, actually, if Jay Gruden comes to the Oakland Raiders, he actually could be the OC. And then they could move Greg Olson down to the quarterback's coach. So, all I'm saying... Don't be surprised if another Gruden's wearing silver and black next year. Now, the Gruden family is a pretty awesome family. I've actually had the opportunity to meet John, but that was, I don't know, five years ago at Lafayette College. Shout out to you, John. And I want to grow this family, 30K subscribers, currently at 28,340. Really cool thing, 
My mom, she bought a Raider shirt. She was like, I'm impressed with what you're doing. That's maybe the first time I've gotten a pat on the back for talking about football for my mother. She's wearing a Raider shirt, but I want to continue to grow this family. Once we get to 30K subscribers, we'll give away some more shirts from Raider Nation store, some more tickets, and uh, then, yeah, I can do Edward 40 hands. Get me to 30K subscribers. Click that big red button. Let's go to my next one here. The Oakland Raiders should extend Darren Waller. I saw this one from Fansided, so I'm going to clap it with Fansided because they finally made something pretty good. And this one is for Chucky Heads. Believe it, baby. The Raiders should extend Darren Waller right now. Why waste time? Because if you waste time, you might not save any money. So shout out to my man, Nicholas. All right, Nicholas Cothrell. Hopefully I got that right. A fan side I wrote about how the Raiders should extend Darren Waller now. And I just simply totally agree. His current contract expires after this season. And Waller, he originally signed in 2018 that two-year $1.35 million deal. Now, I think personally if he gets that new deal, he's going to be in the range of about $5 million per year. And also, shout out to Greg Olson, who spotted this man at Balt when they the Raiders played the Baltimore Ravens. Because coming into this year, he had 18 catches for 178 yards and two touchdowns. Now, sure, if you looked at his measurables, they were incredible. And if you listened to offseason practice reports and watched the Raiders report, <clears throat> you would have known that we had Darren Waller projected to be a good player. So I think the Raiders made the right choice. Because we could have re-signed Jared Cook for about $7.5 million. Because that's what he got with the Saints. And when you look at the numbers right now, before week six, it's not even close. And you just want to talk about overall value. I mean, Darren Waller for 675 k compared to Jared Cook for $7.5 I mean, come on. I'm not good at math, but that's a pretty good steal in my opinion. And if Darren continues to put up the numbers that he's putting up, this is what he's on pace for. It's pretty freaking good, right? 118 catches. 1,149 yards, zero touchdowns. Can we please, 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 please get this man a flippin' touchdown? So right now, here are the 2019 tight end reception leaders. Now, this is before week six. Let me just say that now because I can already see people who are like, oh, Travis Kelsey had four catches this week. Darren Waller, 37, Austin Hooper, Evan Ingram, Zach Ertz, and then Travis Kelsey. And here are the receiving yard leaders this season. So he's top five in both. Last time I checked, that's probably pretty good. So Travis Kelsey, Evan Ingram, Austin Hooper, and then Darren Waller. Another reason why I think that don't be surprised if the Raiders do extend him is because, well, John Gruden loves him, and he has a lot more to say than I do. He leads the league in receiving right now at that position. If you watched him block... I don't know if there's a better tight end in football, really. Man, that is some serious high praise from your head coach. We know how athletic he is at catching the football. John, though, is starting to notice that, guess what? He's also a damn good blocker. So I want you to type Waller in the comments section if the Raiders should extend him. And if you don't type Waller, well, how about this? Just unsubscribe to the channel because, like, Darren Waller deserves to be extended. That sounds weird, right? That kind of sounds weird. Darren Waller deserves a contract extension. So I want you to type Waller if y'all agree with me. Waller's in the comment section, YouTube, Facebook. And if you're not already liked our channel on Facebook, you see it down there and right below me, like down here. See it? Yeah, facebook.com slash justwinbabyraiders. Let's talk about Richie Incognito. He was fined 21000 for two plays in week five versus the Bears. First one, the chop block on Eddie Goldman. And then the next one, which kind of made me chuckle because it's totally Richie Incognito, he just pushes Buster Screen's head into the turf. I mean, like, Richie's going to be physical, but I'm okay with Richie Incognito being this physical. Why? Because he was scaring the freaking daylights out of Bears defenders, and he's just a physical guy, and it sets our tone, and that's how we're going to win football games. So, Richie, you're getting paid a lot of money, but maybe just be a little bit more clean. That's all I'm saying. But the NFL, what really needs to happen is there needs to be more consistency. And the one that drives me absolutely flipping nuts is the fact that Mo Hurst was fined last week for his hit against Chase Daniels. Now, if you haven't seen it, go to my Twitter, at MitchellRens365, and you all need to see the sack, I shouldn't say the sack, the hit that Mo Hurst had on Chase Daniel. Not only was it just a horrible call, that should have never even been a roughing the passer penalty. It also took away an INT. An INT that really could have impacted the game. If the Raiders would have lost that game, I would have went absolutely flipping ballistic. Like, like, 
crazy ballistic because Mo Hurst getting fined 21k for that hit against Chase Daniel is just absolutely toming BS. And if y'all think that the NFL is soft, and if y'all think that the fine for Mo Hurst was toming BS, I need y'all to type tuck that in the comment section. So the way that we did this show, type who you think the Raiders MVP was. If you think the Mo Hurst hit was toming BS, type tuck that. If you think Darren Waller deserves a contract extension, type Waller. I want to see some interaction in the comments section on YouTube and on Facebook. So I'm going to ask you all one more time here on the Raiders Report. Was the Mo Hurst fine timing BS? Type tuck that because guess what? It was freaking four Chucky heads. Believe it, baby. Tuck that. Tuck that. Tuck that. Subscribe. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. I appreciate everyone who's watched till the end of the video. I got rid of that old, you know, end screen. Had to go. Now, this is the most interactive number one Raiders channel on YouTube. And y'all need to subscribe by clicking this button right here. That's all you got to do. Click it. Then if you want to watch some videos that I got coming up, click over here. And then click over here. Raider Nation, I love you. That one's for Chucky Heads. Believe it, baby.